Tommy Green team, welcome back to our channel. We are here at Avery Cabin Company, Avery Tiny Homes in Hamilton, Alabama, beautiful little small town up in the northwest part of the state. And it is amazing to be here. We are filming probably our fourth or fifth Avery Cabin. This one's got some special details, and this one is actually a what I feel is a true RV park model. Now we talk about tiny homes and we, we throw the category and the term out there, tiny home, tiny house, tiny this, tiny that. And the last couple of videos there's been a lot of discussion in the comments section about what is a tiny home. And I made the comment to someone the other day, I said, look, a cardboard box is a tiny home to somebody. It's small and they call it home, a tent, a RV, a motor home, a mobile home that's tiny, anything that's, they're a van, a bus, a, a, a schoolie. Those are tiny homes. Okay, so they're on wheels, they're not on wheels, they're an RV park model, they're a cardboard box. There's a lot of differences. But an RV park model is really, in most parts of the country, not intended for full-time living. It is intended to be in an RV park. It is intended to be at the lake where you go visit it two or three times a month or once a month or five times a year and it just sits there. Okay? That's what an RV park model is. All manufacturers will say it is built to RV industry standards. It is not intended to be a full-time residence. Now, in certain parts of the country, you can live in one of these full-time. For example, Alabama doesn't care. Alabama says if you want to buy a shed and convert it into a house, it's your prerogative. Unless, unless you're in certain counties. Unless you're in certain counties or city limits of some cities. But if, for most time, if you live out in the country, you got a piece of land, hmm. you can live in what you want in Alabama. That's just the way things go. Let's get to this house. That's what I want to get off my chest. I said in the last Avery video, I had something to talk about. We're steaming. It's warm. We rode the motorcycles up here. And it was a good two-hour ride, and we were a little tired, and it's hot. And we were just in a loft talking in another home, and it is very hot. This house is not a lofted house. Tammy took you outside, showed you around the beautiful colors, the trek decking. And Tammy noticed a feature today that we talked about maybe. I don't know. I know we talked about it amongst ourselves, but on the porch, they wrap that trek decking. They have a, a wrap board around it. So when you look at it from the front, it looks very, very finished. You don't just see the edges of boards sticking out. It's really nice. But Tammy's in the living room. We've got four windows and a door with a window with the built-in blind um, and your mini split unit. And up above, there's no lighting because of the windows, but you have a ceiling fan that is going to have a light on it when it's installed. These are ready to go out to dealers, so they haven't installed all that. They don't want the risk of breaking it when it gets to the dealer it will be all set up for show but these homes we show you thanks to our friends at avery these homes are straight off the assembly line i mean we are right 25 feet away from the factory and beautiful and they're beautiful and tammy mentioned in the last video every time we come to avery it seems like they have improved quality improved quality improved quality we just see things in these finished homes that two, three months ago, we'd be like, oh, why did they do that? But, but it looks like they, they're, even our feedback, we were here last time, a couple months back, and there was a little problem with something, and we say, hey, there's a problem. The guys ran right out there, got the paint brushes, got the, all the spackle, all that, and fixed it right there while we were standing there. But anyway, that living room is probably about a 9 by 13. Of course, this is a RV park model standard. It's a 300 square foot home, 399. We have a cabinet, these nice gray finish. These cabinets are solid wood cabinets. They have the plywood. They're not made with the particle board. They do have the soft close features to them. This one is finished in gray. You've got a cabinet up here under the corner. You can access, you've got drawer storage. You've got two cabinets. So you don't need a lazy Steve or a lazy Susan crowding up the corner because space is tight in this thing. It's 400 square foot. So anyway, as we come into the kitchen, you've got your basics. There's no dishwasher, but you've got a nice apron sink, deep bowl, stainless. You've got matching nickel knobs on your cabinets and your faucet. 
is is the brush nickel or state whatever you want to call it you've got your whirlpool stove and microwave and these are full size you get a nice corner cabinet here above and good deal of workspace this bar does not have a lot of hangover so it wouldn't be really what you would consider a breakfast bar but it's plenty of workspace when you're when you're cooking something as we look up top, you see the same wood that we see on the walls, except the top. The toner groove is finished in your pickled look, and you've got plenty of the recessed can lights throughout this home. And it's high ceilings throughout, right? Yeah, this is non-lofted, so your ceilings are all cathedral throughout the house. It's okay? nice. We walk on back a little bit. You've got your Whirlpool refrigerator. Uh, full size, and this one actually opens the correct way. Nope, it doesn't. I wouldn't want it open this way. I'd probably want to yeah. switch it. We've talked about that in a couple videos. A couple little screws here. Move your handles over. they got little plugs that go in here. Just how they come. And you can swap out where you put your, your handles, and you're good to go. This one has, because of the loft not being here, you have a lot of storage up there for whatever you would want if you want storage. Oh, that's if you nice. just want to put plants to make it look beautiful. Or your cereal boxes. Or your cereal boxes like Jerry Seinfeld. If you know, if you ever watched Jerry Seinfeld, drop it in the comments. That lets me know how old you are. <laughs> uh, we had a long hmm. family discussion about Jerry Seinfeld the other day. Sad. Sad. But anyway, we walk on back. There's a close quarters for your kitchen, but hey, who cares? What, your stackable goes here, okay? Not configured for side-by-side. -side. You could do one single unit washer-dryer combo, or you could do a stackable. Great place for it. LG, send me some money. I'm going to plug you again. It's a great place to put your LG stackable. And there's extra stay space above. There's space up there. Now, I am too short to reach that, so I wouldn't say, oh, me too. put your... Put your detergent and your bleach up there because if I tried, the bleach would fall right in my face. Put yeah, it's it. like if you're six foot tall, this would be perfect. Yeah, if you're a little bit taller than me, then Mr. Mr. Chubby. Or just shove you in a little um, step ladder on the side of your washer and dryer because yeah. you're going to need it for that shelf. Just a little tiny step stone. But on look me. how extra large this space is. It, yeah. It actually looks a lot bigger than, than most of the washer and dryer spaces they put in these units. Yeah, you even at the edge here to here, you've got three feet. Right. Now, I just want to say this. I'm not saying anything, but there's a guy out there. His name is Mr. Tiny. Mr. Tiny ain't tiny. He's tall, tall, tall. He can reach that shelf. But Mr. Chubby can't. <laughs> so anyway, come on back. Mr. Chubby keeps losing weight, so his chubby's going away. Yeah, pretty soon I'm going to be Mr. Stick. Mr. Stick. <laughs> Y'all mark it down. Y'all be calling me Mr. Stick. Oh, while we're here, I want to do this. I want to show you my beautiful wife. Can I have the camera and show my wife? My wife has lost how much weight? Like 40-some pounds? Yeah. My wife is... 43 pounds? 43 pounds. I want you to just get a look at that. I'm sweaty. I'm she's so she's sweaty. sweaty and her hair is disarrayed, but she's behind Bye. the camera all the time. Turn around. <laughs> Turn, Turn around. around. What on earth? Look at that. She is sexy. Woo -hoo. I'm, I'm not usually in a tire like this, but she's um, riding a motorcycle. Right, motorcycle. The time. That's her motorcycle ride. I talk. And there's the sparkle. See, guys, I love my sparkles, and you know, I guess they get all over my husband in the laundry. So, yep, that's in the last video. If you didn't hear that story, it's going to be a trivia question. You better go back to the last video and listen. What, what did Mister Mister Chubby have all over his clothes? <sighs> It's going to be a trivia question sparkles. for our giveaway. And the answer is sparkles. Yeah. Because they get loose in the laundry and show up on my clothes. So if I have any sparkles, it's not intentional, okay? Because I'm not a sparkle guy. I'm a shine guy. But anyway, anyway, here we go. We're right here. This is what I said makes this a true RV park model. This is the kind of home that sets at the lake. Grandma and Grandpa go out there two, three times a week, or maybe they live there full-time if you live in Alabama, and guess who comes over on the weekends? Grandchildren. Grandbabies. And oh, they've yeah. got a place to sleep that ain't upstairs. That's right, next to the potty. That's right, next to the potty. <laughs> and guess what? Where does their mom and dad sleep? You put a fold-out sofa in the living room. Let them sleep on the lumps. Right. Let them sleep on the lumps. It ain't going to kill them. They're lumps. young. Let them <laughs> yeah. sleep on the lumps. And let the grandkids have the bunk beds. Right. And then next door, it, there's no light, 
because there's no window in this bathroom. Some of their win bathrooms have windows, some don't. But this is the bathrooms. may be hard to see, but you've got a 48-inch shower, which has the dual seats, and you've got two lights, the same recessed lights as everywhere else. And you've got your exhaust fan, you've got your standard seat height toilet, and your vanity. And it's just your basic bathroom that goes in Avery. The door... Except for it just has the extra tall ceilings, which yeah. is very impressive. How tall do you think the center is? About 12 think. foot ceilings yeah. in the center? I, I would think. I mean, six foot. Okay. Maybe 11. Let me see. Basketball. I think 12. That, that's probably, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 11. Okay. Exterior, probably 12. Interior, probably 10 and a half, 11. Okay. But you've got a sliding barn door here. It's secured for transport because, like I say, it's right off the assembly line going out to a dealer in the next day or two so they've secured everything so i can't show you but i can show you what they look like in the bedroom because there, there are the same doors but we talked about this in our last video i don't see any hardware to lock this bathroom you would probably have to go to the hardware store and get you some type of little locking a mechanism barrel lock. for privacy barrel lock or something like that mm -hmm. but a cool feature again this is why this is a, a optimum rv park model in my mind Bunk, bunkhouse. It's a bunkhouse. If you buy a RV, it's going to have the model number BH on it because it's got a bunkhouse. Well, there's your bunkhouse in this house, okay? And now we're back in the bedroom. This has two windows in this bedroom. It has one over where your headboard is going to be, and it has your egress window here to let you in and out in the case of an emergency. It has, again, the nice, beautiful cathedral ceilings. See, I'm trying to gauge, I think the... Uh, Try to be nice and not talk too much and be silly. So that's put you about five foot six. So that's going to be. You're right, about ten foot. Six foot eight. Eleven yeah. foot. About ten, 10 foot, foot in the center and eight foot on the on the sides. Um, hmm. Doorknobs. That's you different. Got, yeah, hey, oh, 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 wait, time <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Matching doorknobs. To the nice. Rest of the hardware in the house. Very nice. They don't just stick bronze or right. brass. Whatever they have laying around, right? Laying around on the factory floor. <laughs> Jethro over there, he had a doorknob the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah, I go see what Jeth Jethro got. I got two of them. I got a brass one and a bronze one. What do you need? It don't matter. No, they paid attention to this. You got a nice matching. Mm hmm. I like that. And these are dual closets. Set up like that. You can go top and bottom on the shelves for your your tops on the bottom and your pants. I mean, uh, your yeah. tops. On the tops on the top and your pants, pants on, on the, the bottom. bottom. There you go. You got Sometimes it. I dress that way. I put my tops on the bottom and my pants on the top. Hmm. Maybe if you want to do that. Yeah. You know. Halloween. We're all different. Um, but but this, this still goes up. This ceiling is up to the cathedral. You know? Look, it's a walk-in closet. Well, it's walk-in. No, it's not really. Or if you're if you're his um, not Hispanic, but if you're Asian, it might be a walk-in closet. A walk-in closet. A walk-in closet. Gonna get us in so much trouble. No. Walk-in closet. It's just cute. Do you want? I'm trying to be cute. You be cute. Do you want Juan Pablo to come out of the closet <laughs> and speak to you? No, you don't. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you. I don't know. I'm not superbly happy with this closet, and I'll tell you why. I think it is really meant to be a shelf closet. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a hanger, your hangers... People, oh, it's not wide enough. Go measure your hangers, okay? You really need two feet of space when you hang clothes on a hanger. It looks like it's going to be really tight, but it may fit. There's two foot right to the tip of my toe. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. This Interesting. Is this is about a 16-inch shelf would be perfect, so it's meant to really be a shelf closet. Mm-hmm. But not really a hanging closet. So just think about hmm. it. Keep that in mind. Because I was doing the math. We were reconfiguring our laundry room area and thinking about moving the closet around. And I, I just did the math and I took tape measure and looked at her clothes and looked at her hangers. And I said, you know, you need two feet with, with your closet right in the center so that you can comfortably hang your clothes and not make them look trashy. And like they're falling out all over the place, like one hangers up here and one's down here. To be comfortable setting like they should on a shelf, on a on a closet rod, you need two feet of space. 
And that just doesn't have. But anyway, you do do get your extra space here with your with your. Uh, these are not soft clothes. <laughs> the others <laughs> in the kitchen are. But you got your little chest of drawers here. That's a nice space. Those you can easily cheap. buy those soft clothes um, hardware on Amazon. Really yeah, reasonable. It's cheap. It's cheap right. and easy to install. I put some in just the other day. You can convert it to soft clothes for probably three or four dollars a, a door and drawer. It's not a big deal. And, and with I, all the little pieces of um, of laminate countertops, you could easily replace it with granite or quartz for yeah, yeah. pretty reasonable with it. I can hear the comments already. Why would things. you buy a new house and then have to do all them upgrades? Okay, let me explain to you. I'm going to explain to you, and if you listen, you can listen. If you're not listening, you can be a dodo bird and put another comment in the bottom because I don't know how many, <laughs> how many of you guys out there supposedly watch a video and then you comment asking a question that was just answered in the same video. <laughs> Either you're not listening you're chewing too loud on your cereal. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I like that dirt tiny house. <laughs> but anyway, you don't listen. But I'm going to tell you, this is why. Because when you buy a house and you finance it for 10 years, 5 years, 7 years, however long you're going to finance it, do you want to take a $3 hinge and finance it at 7.5%, thank you Joe Biden, interest rates, and pay, over the life of 30 years on a loan, pay $75 for that hinge? Or do you want to tell the, man, the when you buy the house and get it built, don't worry about the hinges. I know how to use a screwdriver. I'll go pay cash for it at Lowe's and put it in myself, and I don't pay $75 for it because I'm paying the bank interest. Mm -hmm. I'm paying for it now, and I'm getting the instant return on the investment because when I sell the house, Oh, it's got soft clothes. And everybody in the world wants soft clothes like it's some big thing. Okay? So that's why we say stuff like this. But you know you what's like, important? You don't like laminate? Go buy a chunk of granite. Pay a guy 200 bucks to put it in. Don't go to the manufacturer and say, how much is the upgrade for granite? And say, <laughs> hey, the upgrade for granite is $400. But they don't tell you if you're financing it, you're going to end up over the life of that loan that little piece of granite that's $400 is going to cost you $1,800. So, oh yeah, you're really smart. It's better to invest your time in watching YouTube, you're watching already, you're watching Mr. Chubby, and learn how to use a screwdriver, learn how to use glue, learn how to do all those things, and save yourself some money. Be smart. Work smart, not hard. Okay? That's my rant. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways. I'm going to get over here, get out of the way. We're going to finish up this video. What's the time on the video right now, Miss Ken? 18 minutes. Oh, that's almost perfect. I hope you like this one from Avery. Let's talk about price. You want to talk about price? Everybody wants to know the price. See the comments. You didn't tell us the price. Nine times out of ten, the price is on the... There's little words down at, at the bottom of the screen. I guess people don't know how to read. But anyway, I'm not going to give you the price. You're going to call David Shaw at Avery if you want the price. But what's going to happen, you're going to go, dee, 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 because David Shaw's phone number, Avery Cabin Company's information is going to be in the description of this video. And we may even put it down here if you know how to read. But anyway, contact Avery Cabin. We'll probably put a little picture of their sign at the beginning of it. I don't know how we're going to edit. <sighs> they have edit. great great prices so don't worry about yeah, don't it. get stressed about price yeah. i'm not walking through a hundred and fifty thousand dollar tiny home right, right. okay but here's the here's the situation i said it in the last video i said it in a couple of them avery is a manufacturer so they don't put these together with the end user in mind the dealer is the sales agent who whoever they their dealers are they have certain dealers that they're in partnership with they have signed contracts with the dealers sell the homes, but if you want a price, you need to find an Avery dealer. If you don't know an Avery dealer, contact David Shaw here at Avery. He'll put you in touch with your closest dealer. If there is no dealer available, he can, as a manufacturer, sell you a home, and he will give you that price. Otherwise, the dealer in your area is going to give you the price on that one, and that's how that goes. So that's price. I'm not going to talk about price. I'm just going to tell you to call Avery Cabin Company. 
they're so gracious to us, so nice to us. They work so well with us. Quality is in in in, in indicative indicative of, of the the work they do here. We know we I don't want to say we know the guys. We've talked to several of the guys that work here. That a lot of them come from the local mobile home manufacturers because we are right across the street from a ma- mobile home manufacturer. A major one. <clears throat> a major one. Uh, and we've been in some of their homes, but their homes that they call RV part models feel like you're walking in an RV. Okay. That's just the way. Or a mobile home. Yeah. Or a mobile home. This doesn't feel like a mobile home at all. The only big difference, and I will give them credit, is that builder across the street. They are the ones that when you buy a home from them, it's like buying a home from the Gideons. You have a Bible in your kitchen cabinet. And not everybody likes that. And not everybody likes that. You don't like it, suck it. No, I'm sorry. (laughs) You don't like it, too bad. Give the Bible away to somebody. Take it to the thrift store. But they do. That's what they do. And you can say it's uh, racial discrimination. No, it's not. They're a private-owned company. They do what they want. I don't know about racial because there's people of all races. But but, um, religious discrimination. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But you can suck it because they do what they want. They're a private-owned company. They're not funded by the government. But I'm not talking about them anyway. I am talking about Avery. Avery Cabin Company, Hamilton, Alabama. Come see them. Call them. Talk to them. Look at their website. They're, I think they're still working on their website, but floor plans is something everybody wants to talk about. When I have capacity to obtain floor plans and put them on our community page, we do that. When I don't, I just point you to their website. So I haven't looked at Avery's website in a while. They didn't have a lot of floor plans, but they're working on it. So anyway, we're going to close out the video. I want to tell you, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed, double check to make sure you are because YouTube's getting funny about stuff like that. We've been unsubscribed from channels and we're like, why hasn't, you know, Billy Joe Bob over in the woods building his cabin. Why ain't he? Why ain't we seen no videos from him? So we searched for him, and he's done had ten videos. And then we was like, "Well, we got to unsubscribe." Vivian says the same thing at Vivian Van Adventures. Y'all go check her out if you don't, if you haven't already subscribed to Vivian. Um, check her out and just subscribe, share if you like this type of content. We're goofy, we're fun, we enjoy talking over top of each other and it makes everybody crazy because somebody else just commented the other day, hard to hear when both of you talk at the same time. We ought to come to our house on the weekend. Okay, that's just the way we do. We talk over each, we, honest to God, Tammy has made a sign and it says, (laughs) calm talking card. And when we have a discussion, we sit in chairs face to face (laughs) and one of us holds the card and that person is allowed to talk. And then when that person is done talking, they hand it to the other one. That's how we keep from interrupting each other. She's a genius, but it works most of the time. But anyway, (laughs) long story short, like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you guys. You got your trivia question from this video because we are, I mean, we're like one subscriber away from 6,700 subscribers. We're going to be so close to 7,000 in a couple days. And we'll have a lot of gifts to give away. And when we get to 7,000, that's 3,500, 4,000, 4,500, 5,000. That's eight gifts. We better hurry up. So we got a live. We owe you guys a live big time. But, But the way it works on the live you have to be a channel subscriber to be able to comment while we're on the live because we turn off people that aren't subscribed. So Joe Blow that's not subscribed can't come in there and win a prize. You have to be a subscriber, and then you have to be able to comment. And when we're doing a live, we're going to ask trivia questions, and the answers to those trivia questions we have peppered throughout our videos over the, the last several months. So there's a bunch of trivia questions out there and we'll tell you, this is the answer to the trivia question. So you keep it wrote down somewhere or keep it in your head. But you got to watch a lot of our videos to know all these. And the first person, when we ask the question, the first person say, sparkles, you get a prize. And then we arrange with you off the air. We email you through your Gmail. We get your address. And we'll ship you a prize directly from Amazon. And that way we don't have to touch your beef jerky or nothing. So anyway, <laughs> um, 
Again, today's trivia question is what did Paul have all over his clothes from the laundry? What's the answer, Tim? Sparkles. Sparkles. And you've got to comment it like Don't that. Don't forget your sparkle. Don't forget your Remember. sparkle. Remember. You've got to comment it like that. you got to say sparkles, and then i got to see a unicorn and a rainbow. So y'all figure out <laughs> how to funny. do that. That's I don't all. think that's... If somebody does that, if somebody says sparkles and does, and does the rainbow and unicorn, you're going to get a bonus prize. You might get some beef turkey. Okay, we're going on to the next. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. We thrive off of you guys, your comments, your suggestions, everything. We love each and every one of you in, a, in the right kind of way, not the wrong kind of way. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.